Hey guys, so today we're doing another look with the Lorac Pro, which is a much more nighttime appropriate look, and maybe for a date night or a girl's night out. So I'm going to get this NYX Brow Gel, and I'm going to use this with my MAC angled brush and get some on the side, and with a little bit, I'm going to carve out just above my crease area. And this stuff dries really, really fast, so you kind of have to work fast with it. And um, I'm going to smudge that out in a bit using a Sigma Exact Blend E32 brush. So with the E32, I'm just going to really just smudge that line out. I'm not going to blend it upwards or anything. I'm just really trying to fade it out. You don't have to use a brow gel. It does dry really quickly. You can use a pencil. You can use... Um, liner gel so keep that in mind next I'm gonna pick up the color camel which is an awesome 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 transition shade it's one of my favorites in the palette and I'm gonna pick that color up with a fluffy brush and just put it above the line and blend it out So using the same brush, I'm going to next pick up the color Mulberry and I am going to place this right where that line is at, the first one that we carved out. And it's just going to give it a really nice gradient effect as you can already tell just with that berry color alone. I love this color. So with a tapered blending brush, this is the E45 by Sigma, I'm picking up the colors brown and stone and lightly I am going to pretty much redefine that line that we originally had done just because with the blending with the other two colors it kind of faded out so I still want to give it some definition and re-bring that line out a little bit. So here I am picking up my Lime Crime eyeshadow brightener which works so surprisingly well. Your eyeshadow will not budge and this stuff is white, white, white. So whatever you put on there is just going to be so bright and so colorful. Um, but right here I'm realizing I should have just went in with a brush instead of my finger and I'm just going to get something really tiny and tapered where I can really get in and clean up under that line that we drew out because I'm going to go in with a white shadow and I want this to look really clean and really defined. So don't be shy with this part because I know sometimes when I was doing this look before, I would be kind of afraid to go a little bit higher or where originally I had put that line. But make sure you go right underneath it because this is what's going to give it that clean cut effect. So now I'm picking up the white that's in the palette and I'm just going to pack this on. I gotta say I'm a little frustrated with the white in this palette. It's not as bright as I would like it to be and I really have to pack it on to really get the intensity that I want. So I'm being patient with it, I'm working with it and just really packing this stuff on. So using the same white shade, I'm just going to lightly put some under the eyebrow and highlight the brow bone area. And next up is eyeliner. This is the Tarte uh, gel liner that I have. And it's one of my favorites. I really like it. It's really soft and it dries quickly as well. And with an angled brush, I'm just going to start doing my liner and I'm going to make sure the end of the liner connects to the bottom point of that line that I carved out earlier. So 
eyeliner is Dunzo. Alright, so next up I'm going to get the black in the palette and using the E32 by Sigma. I'm going to pick that up and pretty much just set the um, eyeliner with the black so I can make it even more, much more intense. And then I'm going to, as you can kind of see, I'm going to flick it up a little bit to give it a little bit of a gradient effect to the liner. So it kind of fades up into the line that we kind of carved out earlier with the gel. Then I'm also going to grab the E45 brush, which is the tapered blending brush. And I'm going to go in lightly. I don't have product in this, but the black that we set, I'm just going to blend that out into the original line. So it all blends and connects evenly. So I'm going to prep my lashes with some mascara so I can put some falsies on. This mascara is one of my favorites. It's by NYX. Look at the brush on that. It reminds me of the Bad Gal one by Benefit and it's just an awesome mascara. And I'm going to go in with my Ardell lashes and boom we are done. And with the pencil brush I'm going to pick up the color brown and khaki and just fade that out into the lower lash line area. And very hideously, I am going to put some liner in my waterline to complete this look. This look is pretty easy to achieve. I think it's great for a night out, date night, girl night, what have you. But that's it guys, and I hope you really like this look. And tell me what you think. Till next time. Bye!